Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Just Two Kids Gaming. My name is Sports Zebra, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some simple meshes here inside of Blender. Uh, today we're going to be making a tree, and uh, I've been looking around YouTube lately, uh, trying to learn how to use Blender and Robot Studio. And the videos are either outdated or pretty confusing and hard to follow along. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this 2020 as of uh, May. So hopefully this will still work far into the future for you guys. So we're going to be making a tree. Um, I'll probably also have more videos coming out on how to make other stuff. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to just select all of this and press delete because we just want a fresh uh, template right here. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to press Shift and A and this is going to bring up this little UI and we're going to go to Mesh and insert a plane. And What you want to do is unclick and press Tab to go into edit mode. Now what you want to do is hold Control and click on three corners press delete and press vertices so now we just have this one little dot right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here uh, to this little wrench and we're going to add a modifier first thing we're going to add is a skin so now it's a little cube and then we're going to click on add modifier again and press subdivision surface and it will look like this little ball almost. Now we want to press Alt and Z so that we are in transparent mode. Now we want to press 1 on our number pad so that we look to the side of our object. Now you have to have a number pad because in Blender you need a number pad. So if you don't have a number pad just press view and go to viewpoint and look for uh, the one you want so you can do and it'll have numbers so numpad 1 is the front and what you're going to do select this well actually not select it you're going to have this little dot you're going to press E and this is going to extrude the model actually I made a mistake to undo we're going to press control Z alright and I want to be zoomed out so that I can make it pretty big. We're going to press E and we are going to extrude this up to here. Okay. So there we go. We now have this little pole here and if this is all that you wanted then you could just leave it at this but we're going to be making a tree today so we're going to go back into number one. We're going to scroll out. We're going to press E to extrude again and we're just going to go off to the side now we're going to make branches and the reason we're in um, x-ray mode is so we can see these little dots so we're going to click back on this center dot and we're going to make another branch just like so okay there you go so now what you want to do is go to view or just change your view and I pressed a uh, 3 so that will bring you to the right now what we want to do is just extrude this just like that and that looks good okay so if we exit out of uh, x-ray mode alt and z and get out of edit mode this is what it will look like uh, you could just leave it at this but we're going to do a little more to it so we're going to go back into edit mode tab alt z again all right now we're just going to click on this and make a little y here we're going to add some branches this is going to look really bad guys but i'm just teaching you guys how to do it all right so i messed up there so we're going to press control z to undo all right or we extrude this using e just like so 
All right, we're going to do this for every little branch. You don't need to do this. You could just leave it at what it was, and you don't have to add these little Ys. All right, and just like this, boom. All right, there we go. We now have our main tree. Now, this uh, stump right here kind of looks pretty weird. So we're going to press Control R, and this little dot will show up right here. We just want to click on that. And we want to press Shift V, and this will move it down. And just like that. So now we have a little square base, and it looks more like a tree. Uh, you can play around with this and make it how you want. Um, but I'm just showing you guys how to do this. So we're going to exit out of uh, Etsy mode. Also, by the way, guys, you can press this little thing up here that to get out of Etsy mode, just like that. Press tab. There we go. We have a simple little tree. And now we're just going to export this. But before we export it, we need to go back into Etsy mode, edit mode, and press A to select everything. Now this is very important guys and I will show you guys here in a minute. So actually you know what? I made two examples. One the wrong way and Y and one the right way. So now we're just going to export this as OBJ, uh, Wavefront OBJ. Alright. And then we'll just call this tree bad because this is a bad example all right that's port now we're going to do it the correct way so we're going to go back into alt z tab to edit now we're going to press a to select everything and we want to click on mesh normals and flip the normals just click it once and there you go the normal should have been flipped so we're going to go back out of edit mode. All right, there we go. We are now in object mode. And we are just going to export this. All right, so we're going to name this tree good. So tree good is just the name of it. All right, so there you go. That is our tree. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to make some leaves for this tree. All right, so what you want to do is press shift and A and you want to go to mesh and do a ichosphere and we're going to go to edit x-ray mode and we're going to select just so we can see everything and there you go now I'm not going to play around with this I'm just going to export it so I'm going to go to mesh normals and I'm going to flip the normals um, I'm not going to play around with it, but you can uh, do whatever you want to it and make it look good. So I'm just going to call these leaves. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Robot Studio, and I will show you guys how to do this. All right, guys, so we are now inside of Robot Studio, and now I'm going to show you guys how to import your uh, meshes. And as you can see, I am in our game in Robot Studio and this is because I said on the channel that if we got the 30 subs I would release an update a week from then and we did it but guys th this is just so much it's taking a long time um, I've been dealing with school and other stuff Armatron has been really busy so he hasn't really been able to help me so I pretty much created all this. I've been scripting everything, but here's a little sneak peek at everything, just to make up for it uh, to you guys. So, um, by the way, guys, the link to the game is in the description. Thank you everybody for playing it. Uh, you guys have been killing it. So I actually redid my tree model, and so these trees I was using. This is the same model because I just recreated it and the ones I had on didn't look that good so I changed it so I'm not going to be using the other model that I made in the other video or in the past video past yeah you get the point 
so I'm not going to be using that circle but I'm going to show you guys how to do it if you want to so first you're going to right click and press insert object and if it's not here mesh part then just search mesh part make sure your capitalization is correct now I'm just going to duplicate this alright so you would make your tree here and then your leaves here but I already have my leaves and as you can see it's just a bunch of mesh parts I actually use this square if I pull this one part out right here this was a square and I uh, did some stuff to it to make it kind of look like this and it looks like a big ball of bushes but it, it's supposed to be leaves alright so what you're going to do is you're going to click on your mesh part and have your properties window open and you want to go to mesh ID and you want to click this and import your mesh you want to press no so that it spawns right here and it's going to import uh, I don't have this might take a minute because I don't have my computer plugged in um, air okay so there's an air I'm not really sure what that's from but we're just going to do this And there it is. Okay. So I don't know why there is an error, uh, but if it happens, just redo it. So there we go. <clears throat> we now have our mesh here. And all we can do now is just change the brick color to whatever you want. And then I'm going to change the material to wood. <clears throat> just like that, I'm going to delete this. Good thing about meshes is that you can scale them so it won't be even. Um, which can be nice and also a pain but because if it's a model or a union it's just gonna uh, increase or decrease it on all vertices or whatever it's called um, so now what we're going to do is just kind of set this on here like that and that looks pretty good um, I think we're going to move it over just a tad like that and there we go guys now we have a tree and we can just highlight both of these group these and call it a tree tree and there you go so I'm gonna have more videos coming out on blender um, for other stuff if you guys want it I'll probably have more videos coming out but this will work with anything um, you just need to make sure that the normals are flipped and the best way to do that is to um, just make sure that um, the normals are flipped so like what you want to do is flip the normals the first time import it into studio and if you can see through the first part then you need to flip the normals again you just go back in flip the normals um, and then import it back in um, if that doesn't work for you then go to like the robot studio um, developer forum uh, and you can look for people who have had questions like yours and maybe they can help you if not just make a post on there and hopefully somebody will be able to help you out uh, just make sure you're you just explain the situation uh, in detail so that people can give you the most help that they can but yeah guys that's gonna be that uh, this, that uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial guys I hope you all enjoyed uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and comment down below if you guys want to see more blender tutorials or more robot studio tutorials um also guys i just want to tell you we are not becoming a robot studio um channel i just like doing this uh because we're developing a game and uh i was looking around at this and 
this was a very hard thing to learn for me because a lot of the tutorials on YouTube were outdated so I just wanted to make this video uh, we're gonna have more robot studio videos just because I like recording them uh, they're fun to me and to help teach you guys so yeah make sure you guys subscribe we're at 30 subscribers right now and at 50 subscribers we're gonna have a huge update on here and for the channel so game and channel um so yeah so yeah so subscribe and thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out